Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to be playing some more Hypixel Skyblock. So as you can see, I am back in my farm suit armor. The reason is, in this episode, we are going to go back to the garden, and this armor gives farming fortune. But here's the thing, though. A while back, we unlocked farm armor, and now we have enough um, enchanted hay belts to make it. I did some off-camera farming, and then I just bought the rest, honestly, because I did not feel like grinding all the way. So we are going to make the full farm armor, because instead of it giving 5 farming fortune, it gives 10. And that's going to be very useful, right? So yeah, we have the full farm armor now, so we probably won't need the farm suit anymore, right? So yeah, now I got an achievement called Supreme Farmer, which is pretty cool, not going to lie. I might put that in there for now, I'm probably going to make a separate chest for armor sets that I don't need but yeah this is the mercenary armor I got and then I have the arachne chest plate which I don't think is as good as that chest plate right there but I could be wrong so yeah we have some compost in my inventory I'm gonna warp to the garden okay so we are here I did farm a little bit of my cam carrots and now it has a pest so we are gonna try to kill that pest I don't know if I can kill it with my sword or if I need some kind of vacuum but I'm gonna try to kill it with my sword Nope. Okay, yeah, you can only damage them with a vacuum. So, you can't just use your sword to kill them. If you just have a Skymar vacuum, that's 100 copper. That's kind of crazy. I don't know how much it costs to just buy one from the from the auction house, not bizarre. We haven't talked to the auction master yet, though, so let's go ahead and talk to him. So, yeah, I can go ahead and talk to him. How much is a vacuum? It's 799k. Okay, that's kind of crazy. So we are stuck with a pest in there, but we're going to try to get more plots. We only have one right now. I'm going to try to get plot two and plot three. So yeah, plot two, that's two compost, and plot three, that's four compost. And that gives me some skyblock XP and farming fortune right away. But now they both need to be cleaned up, which is going to be an annoying task. But luckily, I have a solution that might speed it up. Let's buy some mystical mushroom soup. I think just two should be enough. Now you can go back to the garden. And I can fly for 200 minutes if I drink one. If I drink the other, I can fly even more. So now I can fly in my own garden, and I think this effect goes into my island as well. So now I can fly my island, which is extremely cool. We're going to clean up plot 2, and we're going to clean up plot 3. And it's going to take forever, so... I think is there like a better cleanup tool? Yes, there is. It's called a garden scythe. The only problem is that it's 20 copper, and I only have 19. So we're just going to have to use Sam's scythe again, unfortunately, until we can afford the garden scythe, which is 20 whole copper. My goodness. So, yeah, I'm going to go to Jacob. So, yeah, off camera, I did one of the farming contests, and I didn't even realize until it was over. So, yeah, we have two unclaimed rewards. Get Jacob's ticket, and then... Boom, we get that as well. So we get 10 Jacob tickets in a Turbo Carrot book. And I kind of don't want to put that on my hoe yet. I'm just going to keep that in here. But the Jacob's tickets, since we have 10 of those, we can sell them for profit. And they can sell for some really good money. See, 38000 Oh, I can I can become rich just from doing farming contests. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and like watch a video in the background. The sell offer already filled. So that's really good, but anyways though, let's farm. Alright, 99 and 100. Plot 3 is now clean. So yeah, my inventory is pretty full. But I managed to clean both Plot 2 and Plot 3. So we're going to have to have different crops now. Um, I have carrots for Plot 1. I'm probably going to go ahead and refill every single plot with um, 
what we need to, so I'll be right back while I do that. Alright, so I think it's been like an hour, but we're back. I'm gonna go to the bazaar, and I have so many coins to claim from the Jacobs tickets. Cause saw him bought them all, and now you can put them in the banker, and boom, we are basically rich, kind of. We did have one mil at one point, but it was unlegitimate, so I didn't count it. So yeah, we were back in the garden, and we placed both plot two and plot three. So plot two is going to be potatoes, and plot three is going to be pumpkins. I also fixed plot one as well, so now it's full of carrots. So if I want to harvest trim it again. I think I'm going to start by cutting the pumpkins, though. So we're going to get some pumpkins right now. Three, two, one, go. So there we go. We got pumpkin two, pumpkin three. We are about to get farming level 18 just like that. There we go. So now we got some more health and some more gold. My skyblock XP. I forgot to mention I got skyblock level 18 off camera while trying to get some of the resources. I was at 17 before, but like off camera to get the resources needed to make the plots. I kind of had to level up my skyblock level. And it was while I was farming the potatoes for it. Because I did not want to have to get them off of Bazaar. But, yeah. Let's see if we can try to get farming level... 19 maybe even 20 this episode we are getting a crap ton of pumpkin milestones and that's pretty cool right all right our inventory is full level my country again oh yeah i also had this pet cake from last time and it can give my pet some xp so yeah now my pet has a thousand more xp it didn't really do much though considering that i mean it kind of did something but it wasn't really much So yeah, if you go in collections, you can also make pumpkin armor, but I mean, it's pretty bad. Probably could have gotten at the very start though, but like, I didn't want to go for it because farm armor was better than it. I mean, these stats are just pretty bad, you know, it's not worth going for pumpkin armor, though every once in a while I do see people with them. Oh, you can get a lantern's helmet, gives farming fortune, and then farm crystal, that makes farm minions faster, farmer boots. Which can just give more farming fortune and speed and defense. And then polished pumpkin, rancher's boots. So yeah, the pumpkin collection is pretty cool. I honestly like it. So let's try to get as many as we can, right? There we go, just unlock the farmer orb. I can't make it because I need a chinic glowstone. Okay, so it says our pest has appeared in plot 3, but unfortunately, I don't have a vacuum, so I really can't do much about it. <laughs> Until we actually can afford a vacuum, we're just gonna, like, leave the pest there and not do anything about it. It's really not gonna do anything. The pests don't damage us or anything, so we really don't have to worry too much. Like There we go. I farmed every single pumpkin, and it seems like they're gr already growing back, so I really could just go back and farm some more if I wanted to. I'm pretty sure I just saw the pet there, but like, yeah. The pets only spawn if you're in the plot, I'm pretty sure. So like, if you're not farming in that plot, then a the pest isn't gonna spawn there. So yeah. Let's go ahead and start getting them the enchanted pumpkins. So yeah, there we go. Give me that. You only give me two copper. But yeah, we have nowhere near 76, so we're gonna have to grind for that. So, we're gonna have to get 76 pumpkins for dairy. And we aren't even halfway there. So, let's, um, speed run this, I guess.
Alright, so I think I have enough pumpkins now. I'm not sure if that's right, but I'm gonna try giving it to him. Boom! There we go. We got visitor offers accepted three. And we got some copper. We got a lot of copper, in fact. We are gonna go to the sky right now. And we can't afford a vacuum, of course. But we can get an advanced gardening. And also get a garden side we want to. And there's also an advanced gardening axe. Which also has replenish, which is cool. But, like, we're gonna get the advanced gardening hoe with our 25 copper. And, yeah, it only has 10 farming fortune compared to the Rookio's 62.5. We have 100,000 coins, though. I guess we leveled up a ton. But we are gonna get harvesting 5 on this thing. I also don't know why there's smelt and touch, but I don't think that's useful in any way. So, yeah, boom, harvesting 5. So, now, it has 10 more farming fortune than the rookie hoe. And if we go to the hub... We probably could try to reforge it. See what reforge we can get. Zooming. So I get speed. I don't think I want speed though. There we go. Green thumb. I think if I use the green thumb, that'll give us more farming fortune. And that's what we're gonna need, right? Alright, so replenish enchant, I think, is new on this thing, unlike this thing that doesn't have replenish. So it should work the way it should, right? Oh yes it does. So if you delete the crops. It just places them back, kind of. Which is really cool. I I love that, honestly. So, like, I can just, like, break it, and then it just plants it back, so that I don't have to worry about replanting it myself ever again. You know? Which is r really nice, honestly. So, we're gonna try to farm potatoes, and let's try to actually get farming 20 this episode. I know this is a pretty boring episode, and I'm sorry about that, but... At least it shows that we are getting some progress done, right? Alright, so there you go. I farmed and got Skyblock level 19 and Tame level 16. Um, how close are we to farming 20? Okay, we're like a third of the way there. A little more than a third. But yeah, I don't know how many total potatoes I need. I do have a decent amount. I only farmed like, I think, not even half the thing, so not even half the plot. So we're gonna see how many of them actually need potatoes. So this guy... Wants sugar, it's not potatoes. This guy wants potatoes. Uh, let's give it to him. This guy wants potatoes, but I don't have enough. Eventually, we're going to make a fourth plot. But for now, we're going to have to keep farming our potatoes. Right? Okay, so I went. So I've been farming for a little bit, and there's been an. Now there's another pest in there, and now it says farmer fortune has been reduced by 5%. So I don't think that's a good thing, because now I have less farming fortune. 5% is a whole lot, you know, and I guess, like, eventually, like, if you farm for a while and don't kill the pests, then, like, it'll start affecting your farming, which is kind of annoying. Like, I thought the pests did, like, nothing at all. They were just there to be annoying. But I have a pest in every plot, and now I have two pests in this plot. And there's still two rows left to farm, but I might just not be able to farm them, you know? I do have way more than enough potatoes anyway to give to the guy. 
yeah. Also, all my potatoes back here I've already regrown, which is pretty funny. So, yeah, let's go ahead and give it to him, I guess. Okay, no, he's sugar, he's potato. There we go. And I don't think any uh, any other guys like are, sell, are trying to get potatoes. They all want sugar cane. Maybe another time we'll get more sugar cane. Now let's just put all these potatoes in here. And now I'm really close to farming 20, but I don't think I'll be able to get farming 20. So like, I don't know if farming fortune reduction, I think it replies even when I'm outside the plot, not when I'm just inside. So like, if there's too many pests, your farming fortune is going to just get lower and lower. And that's kind of annoying. But yeah, we are going to end off the episode here. So please make sure to leave a like, subscribe. And peace out.